In this lesson, we'll learn how to store JavaScript code for any section inside the section component itself. Typically, if we have GSAP, Swiper, or any other section code, it would all go in page settings, which can make it hard to find and edit the relevant code later on. But also, if the client moves one of these sections to a new page, they wouldn't know which code to move over, leading to a broken section on the new page and unused code on the current page. But some problems we can run into when adding JS inside a section is it's hard to make sure that JavaScript only runs after jQuery, GSAP, and all those libraries are imported right before the closing body tag. And also, if the client accidentally duplicates one of these sections, then we have two copies of the same JavaScript, which can cause errors. So the script we'll look at addresses both of those issues. I'll leave a link to this code in the description below. Let's copy this first block of code, and this will go in our site settings head code. And this will collect any page functions used throughout our different sections. And if there's two copies of the same section, it ensures that the same function doesn't run twice to prevent any errors. Typically, if there are errors in a function, all the functions below it won't run. But this script prevents that from happening, and it also tells us exactly which function the error is coming from. Now, once all those functions are collected throughout the page, this is the part that actually runs them. So we can copy the second block of code. This will need to go in the footer code below any other scripts like Swiper or GSAP, so that we're making sure those scripts are imported before we try to use them. Because this is also running after the jQuery and Webflow.js files, we don't need to include this in any kind of DOM content loaded or anything. It just naturally runs once everything is ready. Now, the last piece of the puzzle is the part that actually goes inside the section. We can copy this. Each section will need a unique function name. And let's head over to the designer and choose the section that we want to add our script into. So what I would recommend doing is including this third script inside a component that you can use as a starting point. So mine is called starter.js, and anytime I need JavaScript, I can drop that component in, unlink it, and it's an embed with my script in here and good to go. Now for naming this function, we can't use spaces or dashes. The first word should be lowercase. So I can call this something like hero section. And then I can add any script I want inside of this, whether it's jQuery, Swiper, or even GSAP. And if we have multiple copies of this section on the page, it'll ensure the same script doesn't run twice. And also the script won't run until everything is ready. So that's how to use the page functions with Webflow.